Dear learners of control systems, I welcome you to the presentation on uh, MATLAB simulation. This is my third video on the MATLAB simulation. In the last two videos, we have seen how to create uh, a login online in MATLAB and use that uh, MATLAB mathworks.com provided by mathworks company we have, we have also seen how to create a simple MAM file MATLAB file and obtain the step response of first order system if the closed loop transfer function is given then in the last video uh, we have seen how to find out the step response of uh, a type zero first order system by MATLAB simulation. So whether uh, it is the last video or last but one video, in both the videos we have actually emphasized the significance of time constant and we have understood the step response with respect to the time constant and we also found out what is steady state error and we could find that there was steady state error when you use a type 0 first order system in its open door. In this video we are going to analyze a type 1 first order system by MATLAB simulation. Suppose we want to uh, find out the step response of a unity feedback type 1 first order system with some open loop transfer function. So here I have given two uh, open loop transfer function. The first I have given g of s equal to 1 by s. That means this is of the form g of s equal to 1 by st. Right? So this is of the form g of s equal to 1 by st. Therefore the time constant is 1 second. The next one g of s equal to 1 by 2 s the time constant is 2 seconds. This we know from the standard expression and if you have any doubts in this you can watch my video on step response of a first order system in control system lecture series. So this is available in my YouTube channel Dr. C. Ganesh teaching models. Now we will proceed to the MATLAB simulation of these two systems and understand the effect of time constant by comparing the response of above two systems. Right. First let us see the system 1. Since in the open loop we have to have 1 as the numerator, NUM is given as 1 in the same way like we have done for the earlier uh, simulation. DAN, there is a denominator of the transfer function 1, 0. Here why we have put 1, 0 means the S factor term is 1, whereas the constant term, it doesn't have 0. So it doesn't have any constant term. So if you don't give 1, 0, instead you simply give 1, then it will take it as 1 by 1. That is the transfer term. But it is not 1 by 1, it is 1 by S. So as usual, sys for TF, NUM, DAN, sys speed 1, all that the same nomenclature and uh, Presentation style and sequence I follow. Now let us uh, simulate this. So let me I mean uh, copy this program into the MATLAB uh, file. So I have taken a file xprac.m. So I am just copying this. I mean uh, copying and pasting. Now I simulate this. So I run this. Yeah, it is showing error because it will accept only if you give lower case step. Because so far I have not uh, given anything uh, wherein uh, it commits mistakes, it finds out mistakes. So intentionally I have uh, changed this. Right. Now this is the step response. Now what I do is I go to the characteristic. And in that characteristic, I am just checking the steady state value. So if you see the steady state value as it is, it is 1 only. Then the time constant, the time constant means time taken by the response to reach 
63.2 percentage of final value. So that means I have to have for 0 0.632 how much? For 0 0.632 how much I should uh, move this cursor and then uh, locate 0 0.632. So if you locate it properly, you will definitely get one second. So this I am copying and uh, pasting in uh, the response. So you can see this is the response that I got. So final value is 1 and the amplitude 0 0.63 is obtained corresponding to 1 second. That means the time taken by the system to reach 63.2 percentage of the final value is 1 second. That is the time constant. Now, the second system I am changing this time constant to 2. Before that, I can just check what is that uh, forward for transfer function. So, SYSFOR if you put that and then enter, it will show 1 by S. Yeah, 1 by S it is showing. So, closed loop transfer function if you want to put SYS you just put and then enter. Uh, 1 by S plus 1 because it is 1 by T S plus 1 now. So, 1 by S plus 1. T is 1. Right. Now, I am changing this 1 into 2 because I want to do for 1 by 2 S. Therefore, I am just changing this 1 to 2. So, if I change this 1 to 2 and then again I run the program, what happens? Yeah, now the response is different. So, at 2 second, I get 0 0.632. At 2 second, I get 0 0.632. So, amplitude 0 0.632, I have to check. So, so, if you move properly, you will get 0 0.632 as 2 seconds. command grid that also you can put yeah 2 second you get corresponding to 0 0.632 right so that is what I am pasting here as the response here you can see here so 0 0.632 2 seconds so 0 0.632 2 seconds yeah so final value is 1 but the time taken is 2 second see here time taken is 1 second therefore if we increase the time constant, the system becomes slower. Similarly, if you decrease the time constant, the system re responds faster. So, the result is the step response of type 1 unity feedback first order system with the open loop transfer function is obtained by simulation MATLAB simulation. So, it was found that the final value is 1. So, from the simulation, it was found that the final value, so this is actually the final uh, value or final output is 1. So, I should write final output is 1. Okay. So, the time constant is 1 second. So, steady state output is 1. So, therefore, uh, uh, steady state array is 0. Right. Next, the same thing but I am changing the time constant. So, it was found that the Final output is again 1, the final output is 1. The final output is only called steady state output. So, time constant is 2 seconds, steady state output is 1. So, steady state error is 0. So, from these two results, what we can understand is the system with open loop transfer function 1 by s has a got a time constant 1 second, while the system with OLTF 1 by 2 s has a time constant of 2 seconds. So, response of the time system 2 that is with 1 by 2 s as a function is slower compared to that of system 1 even though their steady state outputs remain the same. So, time constant is indicative of speed of the response. However, here the steady state error is 0 because it is a type 1 system. Earlier in the last video on MATLAB simulation, that is the second video on MATLAB simulation that is type 0 first order system, we have seen that the steady state error is 0.5. 
now we get the steady state of the zero because type 1 system subjected to unit step input tracks the input in zero step zero steady state error this information i have furnished in my lecture series that is uh, if you go to my youtube channel so if you go to my youtube channel dr c ganesh teaching modules and if you go to the playlist go to the playlist playlist so control system lecture series view playlist you just go then there is a lecture seven error and steady state error so in that i have clearly mentioned about this type of the system and the error relation i hope you can go through that and uh, come back to understand this thank you